Hey everybody, if you're watching this video, you came here probably because you clicked on the link in the program log telling you how to convert knights. So, let's get started with that. First things first, if we go into the default knight model, which I appear to have broken on accident, oh well, pretend there's a knight here in the middle. If we click on edit on this model, there it is, you can see that the type of this model is static, which is bad for what we want. As such, you might have noticed a new file included with the program. This file is going to be uh, right here, player knight as articulated config. Long story short, the default knight implementation is called project x model config and it is virtually identical to an articulated config. The only difference it has is some special stuff for your fancy schmancy cosmetics in game specifically the footstep effects. Other than that, it is completely identical to an articulated config. Now, as far as this goes, we need to use this special model because the default form, since it says it's static, prevents us from accessing critical data. Now, if you're interested in simply animating within this program here, then well, you can use this or you can use the default knight. Either one works. This one will probably save a little bit better. But if you're going to use my program to export this knight, there's a number of things we need to do. First things first, unfortunately, editing the models over here on this window on the side doesn't actually work. <clears throat> to control models, Three Rings uses something called directs or parameters. And these basically say, hey, go to this property on the model and change it to this other thing, which is what you pick over here. That's great, but we can't use that because that doesn't save with the model, since it's intended to be dynamic or temporary. To get started, we'll go ahead and click on the Edit button up here to open this resource editor. And we'll go ahead and minimize the implementation box, because we're not interested in that right now. What we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of all of the parameters. So hit this X button on every single parameter as it comes down until it is empty. After you've done that, go ahead and minimize it if you really want to and maximize implementation. <clears throat> we can go ahead and minimize the stuff we don't need. For instance, influences, material mappings, animation mappings, node transforms. Those four we don't need. We're interested in attachments. So, to edit the helmet, as you can probably tell already, is the first attachment, or attachment number zero. And to do this edit, it's basically the same as the menu on the side over here, except you just click on this and you pick your new form. You can also pick your variants here and all that other stuff that you might need. Good. After you've picked your helmet, for the sake of organization, I personally suggest minimizing it. Attachments 1 is the armor, so picking that is a little bit different. Um, this gets a little bit complicated, and I expect some people to get a little bit confused here, so don't worry if you feel confused. Um, <clears throat> when loading armor, a lot of armor has level of detail stuff, specifically like this default armor. And what will happen if you load that is due to some strange issue with loading models that is in my program that I haven't in entirely nailed down yet, uh, it won't load the armor. So for cases like the double belt armor, you need to actually select the raw model. In this case, you'll be interested in parts and then model HD. And now you might be wondering, how do I know that this is the model that I want? And what will happen is when you click it, don't worry about the material yet, if you click edit on it, you'll see that it is a static config and that is what you want. For the wrong type, you'll probably see derived or schemed, which is one of these two down here. And here you can come in and pick your texture if you want to. Next thing is our sword. So I'll go ahead and minimize attachments one and we'll go ahead and load up a sword. Um, let's think of a good weapon. Oh, I'm actually liking the rocket hammer. Where is that? There it is. So we'll do part model tier three. 
Look at that, going in with style. <laughs> okay. And as you can probably tell, um, it's pretty easy to pick. Now, as you can see here on Bone Shield, this one's a little bit different as well. This is actually one of those schemed models. We don't want this. Hit clear on this. Get rid of it. After that, you'll want to click on this where it says none, and we'll pick a new shield. In this case, oh, what might we go with this time? Let's see, that's in gear and then shield. Oh, I like the allied shield. Good shield. So we can go ahead and pick our stuff as usual. And, of course, attachments four, we don't really need a shadow. You can minimize that. Uh, this is for if the shield is holstered. So if your knight um, isn't holding his or her shield, you'll just equip the shield here instead of in attachments three. Attachment six and onward are all attachments to the helmet and the head. This is stuff like accessories. And there's also the, um, I forgot what they're called, but the things that go on your knight's chest, the little emblems. Um, this, is a, this is the face, so this is, um, you can leave that alone if you want to. Uh, this is one of the attachments. I don't remember where these are. Accessory, that's it. So if we go ahead and pick one, um, I don't think that's, that's where that's supposed to go. Um, that said, yeah, some of these are, you know, there's different attachment points for every type of accessory. Um, right now, you'll need to use trial and error to find out what goes where because I haven't actually looked into this and I'm not about to do it on the video. Um, but as you can see, you can basically tell what goes where from the node. So if it attaches to BIP01 head or biped head, then it's probably something that, you know, attaches to the head as a cosmetic item. And there's a lot of those. If it attaches to the spine, like you see here, didn't mean to do that, then it is, you know, stuff like wings or the tail. If it attaches to the root, I'm not exactly sure. That's like right between the feet, so I think that's not really something you would use. But you get the gist. So if you want to customize your knight, you got to edit the attachments manually. Now this is super, super, super important because if you exit this window, you're going to lose all of your progress. What you need to do after you're done is come in here, hit File, Save As, and find a special folder. In my case, I actually made a folder with, named Xan and RSRC. What I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll name it My Knight. And I'm going to make sure to put dot .dat on the end because if I don't, then it won't save with that for some reason. Now, once this is saved, we have our um, model completed. Um, this is still going to be the other file. If you want to see your edit and the uh, thing, you have to come in here and pick it. And if we do that, we'll see that it is now the same. And that's what we want. So after that is done, you can come in here on my program. And what we can go ahead and do, make sure, okay. What we can come in here and do is open up that file. So let's go ahead and do that. And to verify that you got all of the right attachments, none of that schemed or derived type, well, derived is probably okay. What a derived is, is it points to a different type of model. If it points to a schemed model, then there's a problem. To verify this, you can use the hierarchy view. Generally speaking, schemed models are going to show with this little icon, the pencil and the UI. Generally speaking, if you see this, you probably can't use it. To check if you can use it, you'll want to click the plus next to it and see if there's usable models. In this case, there are usable models within this schemed config, so this one's okay. If you find your armor and you see it in that schemed form, but you don't see any of these little blocks under them, then that means you've gotten the wrong model and the program wasn't able to find any mesh data. In this case, we see verify. Conditional configs do work. Um, in any case, you'll probably want... Oh, let's see. It's a level of detail reference. It doesn't look like it's actually been able to get the model out, so that might not work. Uh, I don't think the helmet will export properly in this case. 
um, articulated configs are models, so that's okay, as is this. Um, I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, that's our that's our little um, that's our uh, attachment. So you can actually come in here and edit the attachment if you really want to, but looks like that's the only one. So uh, we'll go ahead and export this. I'll do my night. GLB, and we'll open up Blender. Whoa, look, it's testing. And we'll go ahead and import uh, my night, not GLB. Oh boy, we seem to have run into a problem. No, never mind, it's just sideways. That, that's, that happens a lot. So yeah, the, the helmet did not export properly as I had feared, or it, it did, it's just rotated. That's strange, I've never seen that before. That's why I thought it was wrong, actually. So you can just manually rotate that up, I guess. I'll fix that later. Um, but that aside, it should generally work. Now, in the editor, you have more to do. So in this case, the attachments won't actually be on the rig, on this mesh, this animatable rig. So what you'll need to do is come into Blender here and we'll go ahead and select this one that says root. This is the uh, main model of the knight. And we'll want to select this, and we'll click on bones here. I guess we have to pick a bone. Um, you want to come in here and navigate down until you find a bone that you want. In this case, I'm going to attach the shield. So what I'm going to do is biped. Let's see, that's left clavicle. And then there's a bunch of stuff in here. I think it's this one. Yeah, bone shield. And once we have that selected, <clears throat> go into object mode. We can shift right click on the shield. Control P. No wait, I did that wrong. Right click on the rig. Then shift right click on the shield. Control P. Nope. Guess I didn't do that right. How did I do that? There's a wait. Yeah, I'll probably just thinking about it wrong. Nope, that ain't it. Or maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, that's the one. So you gotta click the shield first. Um, what you wanna do is press Control P and then hit bone. And that'll automatically attach the shield to the active selected bone, which is the one that you last selected, in this case, bone shield. We'll wanna do the same for our head, which I'll go ahead and do that. That's gonna be in spine. And then we'll do neck, head. Well, in this case, we want bone helmet because we're attaching our helmet. Um, as you can see here, it's changed this display down here to bone helmet. And then our head. That's our bolts, which didn't seem to want to convert. Um, I'll go ahead and delete the... Oh, there they are. Why are they down there? That's strange. Yeah, okay, well, I'll go and get rid of those because those aren't working. And then we have our helmet here, and we can see, I believe you can parent the empty to the bone, but I'm not quite sure about that. I guess we'll both find out now. Yeah, I guess so. So if you have a group of models, you can select the empty object, which is its parent of all three, and then you can parent that to the bone. And now... Last but not least, we have our weapon. So I'll do that. And we want right clavicle bone weapon. Perfect. Oops. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. And uh, wrong, wrong order. And after you've done all of this, your model should ideally be set to go for animation. And I'll make sure we'll move the shield. Yep, that works. And we'll come over here and move the bone. Where is the bone? There's no hands, by the way. Um, to address that, hands are a little bit strange. Uh, you should be able to manually import them for now. I'll get that fixed in the program soon, but for now you'll probably have to manually import the hands model, which is in the armor folder. And then after you've done that, um, uh, 
after you've done that, you can attach them to your knight and continue on. Now, I want to see if they got all the materials out, but from the looks of it, it got some of them. Materials will have to be fixed in the future as well. But, as you have seen there, that is how you convert knights. Uh, that is all for this little tutorial, um, and happy animating!